Well, that's, that, there you go. Okay, that's better. Your grandmother has seen it. Your sister has seen it. Your mom reached out about it. That long lost friend from high school that knows that you do furniture now, but you haven't talked to in 20 years, finally reached out and wanted to reconnect, but asked you, have you seen this new technique for stripping furniture? I'm talking about people using oven cleaner to strip wooden furniture. When I first saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? You're telling me this entire time that I have been sanding furniture. I hate sanding furniture. I hate it, I hate it. And using goopy stripper, they're both bad, depending on the, what day it is, one's worse than the other. That I could have been using oven cleaner and soap and water to strip furniture. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know who exactly figured this out, but I'm a little mad at them because they didn't scream it from the rooftops. The person that I see posting about this the most is Natalie over at the Vintage Porch on Instagram. Make sure you go to follow her. She's got several reels on her doing this technique to strip some furniture. I've also read her blog posts on it. So if you feel like I'm missing information or leaving stuff out or you're confused, she's got a better written blog post on it. So make sure you go check that out. Natalie, Vintage Porch, Instagram, Reels blog post. Okay, we're going to try to use oven cleaner to strip this tall boy dresser. You might have remembered, I picked this up back during Vlogmas from a local furniture antique shop. I went back and forth on what exactly I was gonna do with this piece because I'm very torn. I love the patina that it does have. However, it is a little more worn in some areas. Overall, I don't feel great about selling it in its current condition. I knew I didn't wanna paint it but I was gonna have to strip it in some way. I was worried about using a sander because I was scared I was gonna lose all these really beautiful little details on the drawer fronts. And if you have any experience using a stripper, the goopiness is just a pain in the butt. I was also worried that I was just not gonna be able to get the goopy mess out of the little details as well. I know it's risky to be experimenting on such a beautiful piece of furniture, but I am going to be trying the oven cleaner to get this off. <laughs> So I purchased these cans of Easy Off Oven Cleaner on Amazon and I went with the fume-free version. Even though it's fume-free, apparently there's still a little bit of fumes, so just be prepared for that. And I did decide to get two cans because sometimes, it, from what I've seen, pieces require multiple cans of this stuff depending on how dark the piece is or if there's like a, a thick top coat. Hopefully. It won't take too many cans with this, but we'll see. I also have a scrub brush and soapy water, specifically with Dawn dish soap, that I'm going to use to get the oven cleaner off after we let it sit for like 30 minutes. There's also this weird thing right here where something happened to the rest of this keyhole piece. Someone tried to patch it with this weird stuff, so that... I'm not really sure what's gonna happen there once I put the oven cleaner on. We'll find out together. There's really not anything else left to do except for try it. We're gonna we're gonna test test it out on one of the drawers. I'm also using a mask to obviously protect me from all the chemicals, and I have on gloves to also, you know, protect me from the chemicals because we are working with some strong stuff. This is supposed to, you know, clean ovens, so. Let's just try not to get burned. All I've done to this piece since I picked it up was clean it, that's it. It's completely dry right now. You're not supposed to wet it or anything before you add the oven cleaner, but here we go. So we're just gonna let that sit for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes on the dot and I got my soapy water and my scrubbing brush. I put a new pair of gloves on and we're going to see what happens next. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Starting to freak out a little bit. Let's 
let's uh, hose this down. Sorry everybody, it's gotten like really, really windy. Ooh, don't fall again. Now we just need to let this dry and see if that did anything. <laughs> wow, this is better than I could have hoped. This is just one coat of the oven cleaner. You saw everything that I did. I put the oven cleaner on, I let it sit for 30 minutes. I then scrubbed it pretty well with the brush and a little bit of soapy water and then I hose it down and I've just been letting it dry. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I think I could have either scrubbed a little better. There's still just a little bit of the original finish in a few places here and over here. Or you could go in with a second coat of oven cleaner. I know that Natalie again over at Vintage Porch has done that on a few pieces so that is an option but I'm still like thrilled. Incredible. I am i can't believe this product has been just hanging around. We had no clue that you could use it for this purpose. One done, let's do the other drawers and the dresser body. All the pieces done and I'm just gonna let them continue drying until tomorrow. I'm speechless. I, I truly don't know what to say here just because I hate sanding and I've been doing it for years and then every now and then I'll hate it so much that I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna use the stripper, but I hate that too. And I've said that several times in this video, but oh my gosh, that was so much easier. I will say, you know, I had to do some scrubbing, but that that is so much better than having to use a scraper and to get into all these little nooks and crannies with a scraper when I can just, do some light scrubbing. So obviously my overall review, I love it. I, I think that was so much easier to use than anything else. It's not perfect. It's still a little messy. If I did this over again, I would lay down some plastic before I started the process. Definitely want to do this project outside. While I was making this video, another furniture YouTuber posted her experience. I'm going to, I'm going to mess this up and I'm so sorry. I tried to find out exactly how she pronounces her channel name. It's K-A-C-H-A. Kacha? Kacha? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. She did the same experiment. I think the difference is she kept her oven cleaner on the piece for 50 minutes. She kept all the drawers in which I thought was interesting. I always take my drawers out when I'm painting or doing any kind of sanding or stripping. She was working with a darker piece. She said that there was an overwhelming amount of smell she 
did not like that and actually is the reason why she said she would prefer sanding. I did not experience that, but I think she was working in a more enclosed space and just opened a door. I was in my garage slash outside. I did not experience those same fumes. I personally will definitely be working with oven cleaner to strip furniture pieces again. I think it's gonna be easier to work with. And that's always the goal <laughs> with this business. How do I get this project done quicker and easier? And I did that in a day. Application, the scrubbing, the washing, that was all done in one day. And then I just let it air dry overnight. And now you have that. You can put a protective coat on top of this. I probably won't. I really like the raw look on this piece. You could also probably go back in and do a second coat of the oven cleaner or just take some incredibly light sandpaper and go over some of these areas where I do see just a little bit of the old finish coming in, just like the teensiest bit. I'm gonna leave it. It's really not that noticeable. This, I don't know what this is. It's gotta be some kind of filling material that a previous owner put on it. I may mix up some paint to see if I can like get something close to this color to put over top of that. It does take away from the piece. It's old furniture character. This is the hardware that was on it when I purchased it. To me, it's a little frilly. We already have all this design going on. It could go with a simpler hardware. I think that would kind of balance it a little better. I'm just gonna keep that as is for now. I like the patina, the brass. This one is actually missing its little pull piece. And so I have a whole stash of all this different hardware that I've taken off of pieces before or people have given me. Found this old one that was just a random and it's got a very similar pull and it's the same size. So I'll probably just put that over there. And it'll be another quirky little detail that goes with the the piece for forever until somebody decides they wanna change the hardware out themselves. There's been a lot of little wood things that I've passed on because I didn't like the finish of it. And I was like, well, I'll destroy it with the sander or it'll be awful to, to use a stripper on. So using oven cleaner as a stripper, it, it's, it's just gonna make things like that just so much easier to deal with. The best way I can describe it is there was this big mental hump when it came to starting and working on projects for me and that has now been removed. It's still a little bit there because obviously you gotta put the work in, it's elbow grease, but for the most part, that's gone. Please go check out Kasha's video on using oven cleaner and see what her experience is like. Make sure you also go check out Natalie's Instagram, Vintage Porch, and see all the projects that she's worked on with Oven Cleaner. I have the Amazon affiliate links down below in the description of this video. It includes the oven cleaner that I use, scrub brush, and I also included plastic that you can lay down. If you happen to want to try this project, I would definitely use some plastic. You can also follow me on Instagram at Amanda's Mercantile so you can see anything that I do behind the scenes. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye. Because I didn't want to. Now mom's going to be in the video. I'm going to put her in. You're going to be in the video.